Yo, what is up, YouTube? Man, we are back at Driving Empire, and today we're going to be purchasing one of the McLarens from the collection, which we'll talk about it in the game. You already know what's up, man, but it's going to be a 2017 McLaren, and yeah, you already know what's up, man, but you already know what to do for Banjo Man. Other than that, let's get straight into the game. Yo, all right, YouTube, so like I said, we're going to be in Driving Empire today, and we're going to be purchasing ourselves a McLaren, a 2017 McLaren, man, and it's going to be from one of these collection items or collections of the McLarens, man. So obviously, you're going to go into the store. You guys are going to go to car collections, and we're going to go into the McLaren. As you guys can see, there is new ones that they have added to the game and this was an update they did friday if you guys don't uh pay attention to some of the updates but they do updates basically every friday to the game so um, if you guys want to check that out check it out but anyways let's get straight into this all right so like i said we're going to be in the mclaren collection packs and we're going to be focused on the first pack that they show on here which is the mclaren collection one and there is six vehicles you need to collect until you can collect this insane 2021 McLaren right here, as you guys can see on my screen. But today we're going to be focusing on purchasing the very first one of the collection, which, which is a 2017 McLaren 720S Coupe. All right, so we're going to go ahead and click that and we're going to view it in dealership and stuff like that. You already know what's up. And here it is, man. And honestly, with the white color is actually pretty nice. Um, we might end up just keeping it white, honestly. But all right, so we're going to go ahead and get you guys through this really quick. And then we're going to try to get this on the street to get some races. And you already know what's up, man. Banjo, Banjo always tests these cars out on stock. No upgrades just to see if this car really is something we are going to be upgrading in the future, you know. But anyway, so let's go ahead and show the stats, man. So you guys can see on the right side, we have vehicle stats at top speed, 212 miles per hour. Acceleration is at 48%. Handling is at 45%. Braking is at 40%. And then you guys can see, man, we do have a total, pri uh, total price worth $245,000. So we're going to go ahead and get that thing started but let me go ahead and just really quick go through some of these uh, uh primary color paints man just to see what color we do feel man I'm, I'm i'm really digging this white color but you ever you never know if we might end up getting a better looking color nah gray is definitely not it uh that's like a dark red burgundy maybe i guess it would be uh but i mean that's not bad but we probably ain't gonna do that we got that nice blue in here man um ooh, a full out black one is actually fire i'm not gonna lie with you guys like look at that Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. And then you can see, man, the leather seats in the in on the inside, obviously. But we'll, we'll get we'll get some more details on that out once we get this on the streets, man. Yellow is not too bad. Uh I think this is like a darker gray, maybe. Because this is obviously black. And this is like a dark gray, I guess. Yeah. This is a brighter red. We got a green on here. Ooh, this blue though. Blue is looking nice, ain't gonna lie, man. And then that white is what actually was catch, catching my eye for this, man. You know what? I think we're just gonna have to keep it going with the white, man. The white actually looks pretty, pretty cool. So we're gonna go ahead and keep that. So we're gonna go ahead and purchase this for $245,000. And let's go ahead and get this thing going, man. All right, so let's go ahead and get our car out, man. Like I said, here it is, a 2017 McLaren 720S Coupe. This is at the top of my list in the garage, man. So we're going to go ahead and get this out. And here we go, man. So here, oh my goodness, okay. Oh, shoot, dang, that turbo sound was actually pretty fire. So let's go ahead and step out really quick. Y'all already know what's up, man. But anyways, obviously, we kept the white on the McLaren, man, because this thing is just super nice, super clean. You guys can see we got the nice McLaren sign in the back, the exhaust pipes right here in the middle. Um, we got the nice, uh, I think these are, yeah, the reverse lights are going to be right there. We got the nice McLaren stock rims on here. You already know what's up about that, man. We got the doors that do pop up, and then we do have the uh, front trunk. And then, yeah, other than that, that's basically most of it from that part. I don't think we're allowed to open the back, which is all right, you know. But let's go ahead and give you guys a look on the inside, though, all right? So let's go ahead and show you guys what's up. Oh, my goodness, that exhaust on this car is actually fire. All right, man. So let me go ahead and show you guys what's up, though. But as you guys can see, we got a pretty nice-looking car in the inside man you guys can see though we have a nice carbon fiber on the steering wheel the mclaren side is right in the middle which most cars usually do that is um add them to uh the middle of the steering wheel you already know what's up and then you guys can see we kind of got like that uh i think it's like i would say it's more of like a brown like 
I don't know, actually. It's like it's basically like those luxury colors, you know, but it's I, I would assume that this is like more of like a brown color, maybe. Um Yeah, they just look brown, but they also look like what would another what would the other word be? But y'all y'all already know what's up, man. But anyways, we got a, a couple of uh carbon fiber around here as well, man, on the sides. You guys can see our little speakers right there. I'm assuming that's another speaker, but we also have the fans, our dashboard that shows our speed bands. You guys can Oh my goodness, this is insane. This is insane, all right? And then we got our nice touch screen in the middle, man. As you guys can see, we already got our AC fan blowing from the uh, windshield part, man. But we're going to have to change that later on. You already know what's up, man. And then, yeah, other than that, that's basically the inside of the car. Dang, look, even the bottom shows McLaren's right there, man. This is pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and do our thing. You already know what's up. We're going to go ahead and test this out on a drag race. And, and yeah, you already know, man. We got to test out the acceleration first. And then we're going to test out the top speed, man. All righty, guys. So we are in the drag race, man. And we're going to go ahead and get started. See what this McLaren can do. And, and we're going to see what our speed can be, man. So, so far, pretty good start. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. I like the, the I like the turbo sound on it, though, man. You can hear that turbo, and it's insane. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So, obviously, Apollo's still going to be beating us for a while, man. Because Apollo is just absolutely insane. But, anyway. So, we did finish off. And we... We didn't even lose that bad by by two seconds with a stock McLaren is actually not too bad, man. We might end up might end up having to look into doing some upgrades. But as you guys can see, though, our best lap time with the McLaren is at 7.8. Nitro up time is 3.7 and top speed was 184. So that's actually not too bad for a drag, I would assume, especially from a stocked McLaren, man. But other than that, let's go ahead and get straight into the highway race and let's go ahead and get this thing done and see what our our uh our top speed can really be with the exhaust being fully boosted out you know but let's go ahead and cut this out and get straight into the race all righty so we are in the highway race man so we're gonna go ahead and see what our top speed can be and what we can really uh max out and finish this highway race at with like i said with this 2017 mclaren man as you guys can see our spoiler does go up which is pretty nice in the back it's pretty clean, man. Oh my god. I'm I'm telling you, man, that, that sound of the turbo is so cool though. Alright, so we are maxing out about two I think I saw like 240. Let me go ahead and check that one more time though. Let me let me see what's up. Okay, so we're at 212 is what it did say. We're gonna max out at two. I'm assuming that's 240. I think I saw 240 at, at a max out. So let's go ahead and just try to finish this thing off. Let's get let's get a, a decent speed on here, man. Hey, this McLaren is so clean, though. I'm not going to lie with you guys. All right. So we basically lost to my Apollo, which is, uh, again, like I said, my Apollo's maxed out. That thing is insane. But we only lost that by 10 seconds. That's not actually, that's actually not even that bad. Um, okay, so other than that, let's go ahead and check the rest of it. So our Nitro uptime was at 9.9. .9, and there it is, our top speed for a 2017 McLaren. Uh, I think it was a 720S coupe, man. We finished the top speed of 241 with a maxed out stock boost. Now, this is actually not even the boost of the, uh, I think it's like the VIP or premium boost or something like that. You can always uh, purchase in the game and stuff, but that's not adding that into it, man. Like I said, this is all stocked McLaren. And so far, I'm not going to lie with you guys. This car is actually super nice, super clean. I'm, I'm i'm really loving the white on here man we're probably gonna have to change the inside maybe do some black or something maybe change the rims as well and then honestly we might end up coming back to upgrade this uh, mclaren man but other than that you guys let me know down in the comments what do you guys think um and also let me know if you guys have been starting any of these collection cars in the game if you guys started receiving or buying like any of the cars let me know which ones you guys are interested in getting because maybe i have to go and look at those cars as well man hey but other than that you already know what to do for banjo man stay safe stay blessed peace